Hi, my name is Sean Shokumbi. I am a contributing writer for publications such as Al Jazeera. I am a professional public speaker, and I'm the founder of CARFI, a strategic development firm with the mission to obtain sustained resources for aspiring African leaders. And as a self-proclaimed introvert, I'm happy to offer you my five mantras for the introverted yet ambitious business leader. Mantra number one, grow in silence, proudly. The book Quiet by Susan Cain changed my life completely. I read it during my senior year of college and it completely erased all the insecurities I had about not being as bombastic about my pursuits as my extroverted peers. A powerful quote from that book is, you don't need to be loud to have great ideas. And that can seem counterintuitive in the social media age where everyone seems to be shouting at the top of their lungs to be seen or outshine the next person with another platform. I can humbly brag and say that I've accomplished a lot of feats with less than 5,000 followers across all my social media pages. I've given a TED Talk. I've launched a fully funded pilot program for small business leaders in Kenya, less than one month after launching my not-for-profit. And I've been paid to share my great ideas both in writing and in public speeches. So in summary, you can be loud and on the wrong path, but quiet and on the path to success. Mantra number two, dress, eat, read, walk, and talk like the woman or man that you want to become. While it's okay to be shy as a business leader, quiet confidence is still a very important attribute to have if you want to be taken seriously. Now this may sound vain, but it shows up in the way you carry yourself. Wearing a power suit or an outfit that brings up your self-confidence while being appropriate for the audience that you're beating with can allow you to exude authority without trying hard. I also implement routines that instill me with the knowledge and the confidence that I'll need to get through and tackle any of the jobs that I need to do during the day or the week. That includes eating fewer processed foods, drinking lots of water, and reading up on works published by important thought leaders in my field. Mantra number three, trust your instincts. There are studies that show that introverts are more perceptive, more observant, and more thoughtful than their extroverted peers. That's no shade, this is science. So as an introvert, don't be afraid to lean into your gut feelings about who you want to hire for a vital role at your company which clients to pursue or to avoid, and who you would want to sign a business contract with. It is literally our superpower to process and collect information faster in larger quantities and with discernment. Use that to your advantage. Mantra number four, write everything down. This is just good business advice for anyone, but as introverts, this is a particularly important principle that will save you from a lot of headaches and also a tax to your reputation, your integrity, and your financial sustainability. Because we are quieter, introverts are more likely to attract people looking to take advantage of our lower profile. Since word of mouth and referrals are still the fastest way to grow a business, you need to have things written down to protect yourself from false narratives, and even, God forbid, future legal action. Lastly, mantra number five, go with the flow. Our social batteries get depleted very quickly as introverts. So it's important for us to preserve our energy for the times that will need it the most and for the times that matter the most to us. I take huge pride in carving out huge chunks of my time in the morning for me. Not answering emails, not checking alerts, but practicing yoga, going for a walk, and journaling. And once you've officially clocked into work, remember to use mindfulness practices to regulate your stress levels. I believe that with these five mantras, you not only see the world respect your leadership style and boundaries, but also see more energy in your ability to lead as the tortoise amongst hares in this fast-paced life.